Hello guys, welcome to the video. My name is Script, and today I'm going to be introducing you guys Overtunes, okay? Now, Overtunes is an application that will focus mainly on being a toolkit, okay? As you can see over here on the website, it shows right here there's a new page that actually talks about Overtunes, okay? 1.0 is a toolkit designed for gamers, okay? It features Pixelbot, a full recoil customization, anti-FK for games, okay? Now, not all of those features are already in Overtunes, and I'm going to talk to you guys about it um in a little bit okay now if you want to access it if you want to get to it just click right here it's going to open a new page a member page now if you open this page and yes you to sign up to my website just make sure you sign up it's free i don't send you emails every single day i don't do any kind of that bullshit so don't worry you won't get that with me all you're gonna get is coupon codes which will actually save you money okay uh coupon codes from my website of course um after you come over here you can see right here on the first thing overtunes current version when it was updated, the usage of it, which is a toolkit, okay, and the type is an external is uh, application, okay, it's an executable. You're gonna click on download. I already downloaded it to try it out. It says right here one, okay, so I already downloaded another one, so I'm gonna cancel it, okay. It's as you can see right here, I already have it on my desktop, okay, as you can see right here, this is a zip folder, okay. You're gonna right click on it, you're gonna extract to overturn, so it creates a new folder. All right, guys, so now let's open the folder. Okay, we already extracted it. Overturns. Okay, let's open it. As you see over here, we have three things. We have the actual executable, overturns.exe. We have the configuration file. And we have the read more document. Let's read more document. Let's open it. Here we have the app name, the version, the objective, which means what's on the script or what will be on the script. Okay, so we have already no recoil. We already have NTFK. We do not have the pixel bot. And we don't have more. The more is more things that are coming up, okay? Um, the current features is no recoil. It's already on. And the NTFK, which is already on, okay? NTFK only works for Call of Duty, okay? Which means you get in the game, you press the NTFK key, and your character will start moving randomly and will start moving your mouse. And then when the game ends, when you get the next game, it's going to keep doing the same thing over and over again. So it's a good way of farming experience points on your battle pass or on your character in general. And it generates a overturned configuration file. Anyways, cool. Let's close this file. Now, let's go to the configuration file. You're going to right-click on it and you're going to edit. Now, I have this application called Notepad++, which is basically a notepad, but it's better. <laughs> it's much more enhanced. It has syntax coloring. It's, it's, it's much better. Now, if you want to download it, you can. It's on the description of the video. You don't have to download it, though. You can just open it with normal notepad. But you're going to notice that my notepad is going to look a little prettier than yours. I'm going to open it. As you see over here, it already comes up like this. Okay, it has the functionalities over here. You don't have to play with that. It has auto AFK settings, which here you can set up the start key, which is already set to I. You can change it up. Okay. This is the key that you're gonna need to start the, the auto AFK. I'm gonna talk to you guys more about it in a little bit. Here you will go to no require settings. Here inside the no require settings, you have weapons. And then here you have all the weapons. Okay. You can add more weapons to these. Like always, you can come over here and add more weapons. Okay. So for example, um, I'm gonna add a micro Uzi, okay? I know not every single game has a gun like that, micro Uzi, but whatever, you get the point. I'm gonna add the values, and boom, that's it. So you have a micro Uzi with a required part in right here, okay? Cool. Um, here you have random, which you can set to false or true. You know what random does, randomize your shots. Start key is a key gonna use to start your no recoil, okay? Very important. I mean, a no recoil, this is the key that I'm gonna use to start no recoil. Stop key is a key gonna need to stop, but you don't need to worry about this yet, okay? Because your script is automatically stopping when you stop pressing your left click. So you don't need to worry about stop key. Pixel bot is not on yet. You already have some features into it, but it's not on yet, okay? It's not it's not activated. All right, so cool. So let's, let's get into the script. And as always, we're gonna have the configuration file open here so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. Now, every single time you open overturns, Overtunes is very recommended that you open as administrator. Now, you can either right click on it and run as administrator every single time you open it, or you can just be a simpler person and come over to properties, right click properties, compatibility, run this program as administrator, which is already checked, but you make sure you want to check if it's not checked for you and apply. Okay. I'm going to open it now. I'm going to click yes. So I give you uh, the administrator rights that you want. There you go. Anyways. So here we have um, overturn, overturn, okay. And as you see over here, I do a little play around because I keep naming it overturn, so I, instead of overtuned. So I didn't play a play around over here on the name. I just did it for this version. Anyways, so here we have like always the status, 
We have a recoil, which is set to false, auto FK set to false right now, and pixel ball is false right now. Okay. Here we have the actual no recoil settings that we have over here. Okay, so no recoil over here, for example. We have the settings, so stack key is this one, B. Right now it's set to B. All the guns, it shows you all the guns that we have, AKM, M416, Barry, and Uzi. Okay, which we have that. We have the AKM, M416, Barry, and Uzi. Now we added the micros. The reason why it did not capture is because we didn't save. So Control S. And then we got to reopen the application. There you go. And now the micros is right there. Okay. Um, and the current weapon is none because the recoil is not on. Okay. Auto AFK. Again, you're gonna press all you're gonna do. Auto AFK is very simple, guys. You're gonna press this key, the I key, which is set to I. You can change it up right here. You can come to auto AFK right here. Go to start key right here, and then just change the key. That's very simple. You can put caps lock, you can put whatever you want, non-lock, whatever, escape, whatever. Just type the normal, just type the correct name for it. If the script doesn't work after you type, after you change that, it's because you typed the wrong name of the key. Okay. Uh, we can also set an exit key. It's over here. As any other script, um, you're going to have an exit key, which you can use to exit out the application. You just press Y right now, but you can change that up to something else. Okay. Um, editor mode. Those upcoming questions. So, okay. So let's talk about the no recoil first, and then we go over everything else. Okay. So first of all, no recoil. So if I press B, Right now, it's gonna turn on the recoil. So over here at the top, you can see status, recoil false. I'm gonna press B and recoil is now true. Okay. And that automatically display the current weapon. If I press B again, it turns it off. So right now the current weapon is AKM. It's always gonna start at weapon zero. It shows the values and it shows the current value that it's on right now. Okay. So now all I gotta do is press left click. Uh, don't press left click on the application itself, press left click somewhere else, and boom. As you can see, it's going down. Okay. There you go. You can see it right here. Okay. Let me put this. Oh, let me turn it off. There you go. Um, so B, so every single time you recoil is on, as long as you press left click, it's gonna automatically start doing the recoil thing. There you go. See? Now if you want to turn it off, you can just press B again and it will turn it off. Okay. Um, now if you want to switch guns, you can press C. Now this key, C is not changeable. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make sure you guys can change the next update, okay? But for now, you cannot change it. So if you wanna change from AKM to M416, you press C, it's gonna go to the next value, M416. Go to the barrel, press C again, it's gonna go to the barrel and puts the barrel values. Uzi, same thing, and micro Uzi, same thing, okay? Um, and then you just press B again, and it's gonna work fine, okay? And that's how the no recoil works. You guys kind of already have an idea of that. My applications are very similar when it comes to no recoil. Now, some things right here, I know may be a little more complex than before. So like auto FK, I'm gonna make a video just for auto FK. I'm gonna actually go inside the Call of Duty and make a video for you guys, teaching you guys how to do auto FK, okay? But it's pretty much you get in game and then you start a game up and you press I. That's pretty much what it is, but I will make a video on it so you guys understand even better. Pixel bot. I know it may seem a little more complicated, but Pixel Ball is not on yet. It's on the next update. Although it says U key here, it's not gonna do anything if you press U. Okay, it's just there for me to know that it's, you know it's for the next update. Um, app key binds. Okay, these are normal app key binds. So like, if you press Y, it's gonna exit out the application itself, the whole application. And over here, editor mode key upcoming. It's a key that will allow you to edit the application while you want it, so you don't have to open the configuration file. Okay. Now all of these things, these Three things are here are gonna come the next update. So auto FK is already here, but I'm gonna add more configuration things to it. Pixel bot is not here yet, and editor mode key is not here yet. At the bottom, you can see technical information, such as um, how much memory is being used at the total in your computer in general, not how much memory the, the application is using, and here, how much memory the current application is using. So how much memory of a turn is using, okay? 0 0.04, and this is virtual memory, so it's using pretty much nothing. So it's very safe. It's much more responsive than iLosity and it works fine. Now, because this is a toolkit and not just one application designed for one thing, it will not be perfect in one area. It will be good for most areas because it's going to have several things, but it's not going to be perfect for one area specifically since it's designed for several things. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Remember, this application is totally free. You can go get it right now on my website. I thought you guys had to get it in the beginning of the video. Okay, now it's gonna be free for the first two updates. After the first two updates, it's gonna be paid, but it's only gonna be two dollars. Okay, 
Anyways, guys, thank you. I appreciate it and have a nice day.